today we'll be playing some good old Castell Forest. Castell Forest is a deck that is uh, in theory pretty decently positioned in the current meta because um, having access to almost guaranteed access to May allows you to clear Mysteria's early boards and a turn six to seven lethal on average I think is there is this deck. This deck's average lethal turn is like six to seven, which allows you to actually contest a uh, Mysteria in terms of lethal speed, which is another reason why this deck has a decent position in the meta. And of course, we're having uh, the ability to run Lily is extremely, extremely valuable against last words. If your opponent isn't so skilled at the deck, then you can simply just use the evolve effect to erase their dark Alice or erase their last words to uh, slow down the game plan. And then even if they aren't that bad and just like let you get rid of their dark Alice's, you can still use this fanfare effect to st stall out the game as you approach your own lethal turn with a uh, decreasing storm followers, which is last words major form of damage, which will allow you to survive longer and hopefully arrive at lethal. So yeah, that is the position this deck finds itself in right now. This is the list that I've been playing. It's a slightly modified version of a uh, list, but from a Japanese YouTuber and Forest Main Dian, whose video I will link in the description. Uh, one day I will <laughs> play with an original deck, but today is not that day, I guess. So um, without further ado, let's jump into some games. Um, I'm still not super certain on this deck, so once again, this is more of a reference than like an actual guide of like how I'm attempting to play the deck and you can once again uh, when you're watching you can decide where I went wrong where I went right and then incorporate the good things to your own play and uh, don't do the same misplays that I make but yeah let's just jump into some games and see how it goes uh, so our first game will be against Shadow and we are going first um, probably last words is what we expect to see um, with a hand like this I think Fauna Handler is probably good to keep early game, the rest aren't so useful, we want to find stuff like a Sylvia Panther and Windflower Tiger for our mid game. And of course we also want to find the uh, Sapling Steward, this is our main draw engine. Cannon works as well as a backup but generally not as well as a Sapling Steward as does. However, this deck does really like having a turn 1 play which is why we kept the Fauna Handler. Um, avoid playing stuff like Force, Force Bond Princess and uh, Castell as your turn 1 play because uh, you really need those cards in your hand so yeah you don't want to spend them early game and of course uh, putting a follower in turn 1 can be risky against decks that you know uh, have a way to clear it in this case uh, shadow doesn't which is why I can afford to so um, here we're just popping down the uh, uh, what's about this her name cannon and the uh, fauna handler we're just trying to get our follower count in you know advance the late game and we can finish with Castell, that is the game plan. So yeah, um, the Aldis, of course we have to be careful with uh, the order we do things against Aldis because her effect will uh, clear our followers with her last words. So I'm gonna grab this uh, Windflower Tiger back again so that I can use it to keep pushing more damage. We don't have a super wide hand so we are trying to rush a bit towards the late game. The problem with that is of course Last Words does have a decent amount of healing so be careful when trying to take an aggro approach to Last Words. But anyway we want to keep our wins our tiger also because it's a valuable bounce. We don't have as many bounces anymore in this uh, meta now that we've lost the uh, Ger Gerbera bear. The, you know the bear and also the spell that comes with it, the Flowery Breeze. So they have the All This and the Twofold Grace and then the Dark Alice comes out which is very nice for us because as you can see they don't actually have a way to get rid of their own Dark Alice and they even go as far as playing the Apple on it. Which is great for us because we have Lily in hand to go ahead and erase that Dark Alice. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh, uh, we've got a lot of very fun facts here so we can play them for draw. Um, try to avoid playing very fun decks before you reach uh, 10 followers leading play because you really need it to draw. As you can see our hand's not very good, we don't have the stepping stewardess. So here we're gonna go ahead and get rid of the uh, Dark Alice here that should make it a lot harder for them to win the game. We're gonna trade. Uh, normally you want to like have a way to recycle your Lily against uh, Last words, but unfortunately our hand is not looking great. We don't have a lot of bounces, so I'm gonna go ahead and 
sack my lily here. Uh, avoid playing too many followers, we played enough to invoke the Mei and that's really all we need to do. If you look at our follower count, we're at 14. Even if we reach, uh, okay now we're at 17, right? but even if we get far with it this turn, we won't actually have a way to lethal because we don't have enough storms. Oh, we play the Plumeria here? Actually, I think, no this is not lethal, I don't believe. We're missing one more storm card for lethal here, so we're just going to uh, just heal up and just like sort of bounce Castell, get multiple copies of a spell. Uh, we can play the May here because we're gonna draw another one. Even if they end turn, we can still use Castell to finish the game, so there is no bot lock option for them either. Here comes the uh, Dark Alice this time. It is storming, but with their hand as it is with me at 18, they should not be able to kill me from here, I don't think. So there's the uh, Apple and then the Eastern Dead, which will clear my board and summon out another Dark Alice for them. Unfortunately for them though, it does not kill me. Unfortunately for me, I don't actually have to lethal next turn either, so I have to sort of hope I draw another one. Of course, uh, the problem with this deck right now is that it's missing more. It's missing uh, Gabra Bear, which is a very valuable storm card that it used to have but doesn't have anymore. Uh, here we draw multiple fun facts, but unfortunately only the first fairy gets stormed. But we pick up the uh, Frostborn Princess here, which will allow us to reach a very convincing lethal. Actually, I think I had lethal even without it, just by bouncing a. Uh, Castell and click. Wait, I don't have a bounce, never mind. Yeah, that was a pretty lucky draw then. So with uh, two Castell spells here, we are able to make our way to lethal. So yeah, that's it for this, this game. Let's move on to the next one. Our next game will be against Rune, of course, and we are going first again. Um, when it comes to Rune, you of course can guess this is probably going to be Mysteria. We're gonna keep the sapling steward. I kept nature's guidance here just so I can play a stewardess and then guidance on turn two, and that was my plan. But uh, I know that they don't have a way to clear the stewardess on turn one, so I'm just gonna go ahead and play it. Honestly, if they were playing blitz, then good for them, but I doubt that would happen. Uh, luckily, we pick up the windflower tiger off the top here, so we're just gonna go ahead and play that. Uh, the other options were, of course, to play the uh, Ageless Bystander or the Nature's Guidance. I don't believe they have a way to clear uh, the uh, Snapping Stewardess on their turn 2 either. So, yeah. Um, here, I just go ahead and use the Ageless Bystander to clear the board. And then just uh, recycle this. I, my hand is a bit lacking. I want to keep my bounces just so I can keep recycling the Snapping Stewardess and keep uh, storming and applying pressure to their face because applying pressure to the face of Mysteria will force them to do a more defensive play so before they get the chance to uh, explode their boy with a like, bunch of crap we just go ahead and apply some pressure avoid playing the stepping stewardess here because uh, I, my hand is pretty bad so I don't want to put it in a situation where they can clear the stepping stewardess that's why I held on to it and here they are uh, clearing my board because that is what Mysteria does and then they pull out a big white board on their of their own. Luckily for me, they seem to be a bit efficient with choosing their evil target here. I think evolving one of the two cost followers into four health would have made this more difficult to clear but we have May so having a huge row of two health and less followers is great for us. So we're gonna evolve the Ageless Bystander here, play the two Wisps. And then we're gonna bounce the Wisp with the uh, Salvia Panda to use next turn and then that will allow us to invoke and play the Mei for AoE damage. So we are able to just trade off into the, our uh, Miranda there and keep them at the low health. So hopefully we can apply pressure and finish them off. As you can see our hand a bit lacking in storm damage besides the uh, Windflower Tiger and the Salvia Panda here. Uh, they managed to get the Ginger out here but they sort of have to use the spell on the Ginger. Nothing to duplicate there for them, which is great. We do have to be careful about leaving board presence now, from now on though, because they do have the ginger, so... We have to watch out for that, so um, we're gonna play the wisp here, recycle it again. And then with the stewardess, I'm just going to draw more cards. It's about time to play the stewardess now that I can guarantee that I can bounce it back to my hand. 
Uh, got the Castell here, which I play the Castell instead of the Stewardess. I choose to recycle the Castell again instead here with the assumption that with a fairy fun fact in hand I should be able to approach lethal. I do trade here. So um, we've assembled some storm. We have one target on the board which is maybe a bit bad for us. We're already at 21 forest followers for us so as long as we can pick up some storm damage we should be able to finish the game and that's the goal. So we have the Hannah here. And they go ahead and use the spell. Using the spell early is better for us than late, so we're happy to see that. And then we are going to go ahead and play a fairy fun fact here. Hopefully, just pick up a lethal option. Oh, we don't even have a the uh, Pumera effect active. Oh wait, I have Pumera in hand, so uh, I actually just misplayed this order. So just pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, I definitely just misplayed the order there. So I go ahead and put the Castell back in my hand. I pick out another Castell here, which means I can go ahead and toss the current one. I believe I do. I don't? Okay. So I use Sapling Steward, go ahead and cycle to find more Storm. I do pick up another fun fight here, which is great. And then just throw out the uh, Wisp here just to maintain hand size so that I can draw a card next turn and not mill it. And then they pull out the uh, Hannah here and go ahead and clone their Hannah. I play another Hannah. And they go ahead and play that Anna that they cloned. And then they have Arcane Instruction, which is a lot, not a lot of damage. And then they have Ginger here, which will allow them to make another Hannah. Which I believe they do, yep, there it is. And there's the Hannah. And there's the Party, which is a whiteboard for them. And we take a bunch of damage here. And there's another Party, which means we take a bunch of damage here. And then there's the Mysterian Rite, which means we take a bunch of damage here. And luckily that's it from them, so uh, they don't even clear this, uh, they didn't even clear my setting still, which I don't know why they didn't, but well, I'll take it. So even with even without the uh, sapping stewardess there, I believe this, I had lethal the whole time. I'm not so, like, I'm not like a hundred percent sure, but I believe it was lethal, right? Yeah, so I'm gonna put two castells here, trade off the sapping stewardess, and play Mei. And then another uh, Frostbound Princess. And then we go ahead and play the prayers. And then play another prayer and then we have super lethal. So yeah, the opponent concedes. So that's it for this game. So our last game will be against Dragon and we are going first. And I realized that all my games are going first. So maybe in hindsight not the most, uh, most variety for a deck showcase video. But you know, it's whatever, right? So we'll keep Plumera, also a great turn 1 play, we can quickly uh, get her effect active so that we don't have to worry about that anymore. And Dragon probably doesn't have a way to clear the Plumera so it's fine. Uh, here I chose to play the Licorice just to apply a little bit of pressure on the board. Bouncing the Plumera and playing her again isn't like particularly useful, you want to save our bounces for when they matter more. In this case, I am going to play it on the Plumera with the Wildfire Tiger, Windflower Tiger here. It will, uh, Licorice will eat the Windflower Tiger, but that will draw me a card, so that's fine. We've got the Sapling Steward here, but once again, I'm saving it for a draw, and also I don't want to waste the bot pressure I have now while they are still unable to clear it. So I go ahead and keep the Sapling Steward instead, putting the Plumera in play. And then we just hit them in the face, and then we go ahead and bounce the. Uh, the Salvia Panther here which will allow me to play the Sapling Steward on the rest of the cards. Um, Sapling Steward will not get the Shrub Licorice effect there. So there's that and then we go ahead and bounce the Sapling Steward back into our hand. We can hopefully try to draw a key card right now. We already have Castell, we have Forest Ball, we have Fun Facts. So we already have all our key like lethal pieces. The only thing we're missing right now is uh, reaching the appropriate number of forest foes leaving clay so that will be the goal and there they accelerate the lowly dragon that is fine we're okay with that uh i played the cast out here and i bounced it with the thick of now hands i'm not actually sure that was the correct play but that's the play i made so we will be going with that uh the very fun fact here we'll just apply damage here look i guess the idea is that i can just rush down their face before they even get to uh play their big cards, because once they can play their big cards, getting lethal is a lot more difficult. And then uh, here I go ahead and use the Assembling Steward to draw more cards. 
like go through the deck, draw more followers so I can quickly reach the number of followers leaving play that I need. So they have double water worm here into lowly dragon, so they clear my a steward does which is unfortunate. So uh we're just gonna go ahead and start collecting castell spells in our hand here with the Salvia Panther. And then uh, me here just to uh, I don't know, something. Um, go ahead and play the Frost Frostborn Princess here just to apply some pressure. I will be able to bounce her back into my hand again and recycle her, so that is fine. And of course, playing her out will also uh, help me invoke my last May, which will help me get my forest co follower count to the appropriate number. So here they are popping out the Degenerate Dragon into Trazaya. Uh, fortunately, I don't think they had a spell here, so they just. Uh, heal a bunch and put out a big ward. I tried calculating, I don't think I had lethal here. If you think I had lethal here, go ahead and leave the lethal line in the description, I guess, but I'm pretty sure I didn't have a lethal here. So after trading that, I believe that hit me to 20, right? So now I can go ahead and get that fairy out. I'm not sure if playing that fairy was the correct uh, option, but oh well. So I use one of the spells to get Lily. Uh, Evo effect, and then go ahead and get rid of the uh, degenerate dragon with me. And then we have the kid face. None of these cards are worth playing right now. Maybe Cannon might have been worth playing, but probably not. So there's their Drazael. And then they have the uh, Irma. And then they go ahead and evolve their draws I also they have a very threatening board here. So here I do my best to clear it, so I use Castell. I go ahead and bounce the uh, Castell. And then I play the Castell again. I think I bounce just bounce her again, right? Yep. And then I play the Mei here. I think I use one of the. Do I use the Castell? I probably should have used the Castell spell, spell here to uh, clear the. Uh, well, I wouldn't have cleared the Drazael, I guess. But I think it would have been worth to play the Castell spell here just to avoid dying. Uh, luckily for me, they didn't have like a lot of damage in their hand, so. I believe. Uh, they needed Relic Dragon to high roll to kill me there, but they just went for Celestial. Uh, Worm God, and because of that, we have Lethal this turn. So, yeah, maybe a little bit lucky on our part, but. Well, it's Big Dragon, so that is the risk you play when you play Big Dragon. So we go ahead and trade both uh, bystanders here. Buff One Princess will evolve, and then we can go ahead and play the Garden. Oh, it won't, it won't evolve, but I reach uh, 20 damage anyway, so it doesn't matter if it doesn't evolve. Uh, go ahead and evolve Castell to get rid of the Draws out in the way. I think they concede before I get to hit them. Oh, they don't. Alright, so yeah, that's it for this video, I think. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed those games and it gave you some idea of how the deck works. I understand it wasn't exactly the most in-depth look into how this deck works, what to, how to play it, because honestly, this deck is pretty complicated to play. You really have to know how to use your... Re this deck has very limited resources, so you really need to know how to use them well in order to win the game. So if you're interested in that kind of gameplay, this deck is definitely for you. It's uh, decently positioned into both Mysteria and Last Words. Obviously, it's not like super strong into them or anything, but uh, I think it holds its own better than a decent amount of the decks out there. So definitely give this a try if you're interested. And if you're sick of playing against Mysteria and Last Words or playing them. Uh, yeah, uh, if you want more ideas on how to play the game, I will of course once again link the original creator for this not well, well I wouldn't say he created the deck but the deck that the person I will link the video that I referenced the deck from which is of course a uh, Diane's deck so yeah you can go ahead and watch this video to get more more of a feel of how to play this I uh, I'm still learning so maybe not the best like uh, role model on how to pilot this deck correctly but I just wanted to give it a try and just give my thoughts and I think it's pretty fun and it's actually not that bad. I am I am bad. I think the deck is better than I am. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, see you next time. Yeah, bye-bye.